There is human monitoring here, but no green fingers. A computer and a robot are in control. In this alien setting, machines are growing food. It's a vertical farm in a completely sealed off artificial environment. Replacing the sun, LED lights run 24 hours, reducing the time to harvest by half. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are pumped in. Ultimately, scientists think these plant factories can help reduce overall CO2 levels in the atmosphere by recycling emissions from other industries. With a plant factory, the environment can be artificially controlled. You can change conditions such as temperatures, humidity and carbon dioxide to provide optimal environment for plants to grow. This semi-automated hydroponic system is being developed by a provincial government just outside the South Korean capital, Seoul. At the moment, it's not fully organic. There are no pesticides being used on the lettuces, but some artificial nutrients are. The levels are monitored and controlled by computer. One of the benefits of a system like this is its versatility. Right now, we could be in an underground bunker or on a ship at sea for months on end. We could be anywhere in the world. But here in South Korea, there are still problems to be overcome before the system is exported to harsher climates like the Middle East. The goal is to make the factories affordable and sustainable through the use of renewable energy like solar power. At the moment, it's too expensive. This factory consumes a lot of energy and electricity. In particular, you need to cool the temperature down for some plants through air conditioning. Technological development to reduce energy is a prerequisite for the success of plant factories. This is a small example of where scientists see the plant factories in the not-too-distant future. In otherwise hostile environments, they imagine towering warehouses full of plants, where robots constantly nurture them for human consumption. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Gyeonggi Province, South Korea.